Hello and welcome friends. Today I will review Linux Mint 18 codename Sarah. The beta version of Linux Mint 18 was released few days back. The final release is expected to come out by end of this month. The Linux Mint 18 is going, going to have long term support until 2021. It has gone through some major changes in terms of user experience. Along with updated packages, Linux Mint has replaced some of its application with new and, and uh, similar kind of applications. It is expected to be the best release since uh, Linux Mint 13. So I have installed the beta version of Linux Mint 18, the Cinnamon Edition. If you can't wait for the final release, you can still try its beta version. The ISO files are available to download. You can write it to CD or pen drive for installations. Uh, one good thing that you will notice while installing Linux Mint 18 is that you get the option to install the third party software and, and multimedia codecs right while installing the OS, which I think is the good move to save your lot of time later on. So let's check out what's new in Mint 18. As usual, after logging in, you are greeted with welcome screen. It contains the shortcut links to new features, uh, documentation, apps. So let's, uh, let's check out further. The first thing that you will notice here is different background. Unlike the gray color background, it's darker and it has just a small logo instead of bigger one. I guess this background will cause uh, less strain to your eyes. So let's check out another uh, backgrounds here. So uh, these are Linux Mint 18 backgrounds. All in darker shade. Uh, let's check uh, wallpapers here. So again, uh, like Linux Mint 17, they have added here new stunning backgrounds. It looks good. Okay. So next, let's check the release note. I'm going to launch the terminal. I'm going to type your cat command. etc or slash release. Now you can see here, uh, this is Linux Mint distribution release 18 code name Sarah and the Ubuntu version 16.04 so this is ubuntu 16.04 lts version and i think this is also one of the major change in linux mint 18. next let's check the system info let's click on menu search here system info So, so the operating system is Linux Mint 18 Cinnamon 32 bit here and the Cinnamon version has upgraded to 3.0.5 which is also one of the main improved feature of Linux Mint 18. With Cinnamon version they have introduced a lot of new features so we will check that later on. One of the important feature that was introduced with Cinnamon 3.0 is it has improved the tiling features. So let me show that. I'm going to open multiple window here. Now you can see it has improved the tiling feature it automatically adjusts to the screen as you can see here so
So this is also one of the major feature of Cinnamon 3.0. The next feature of Cinnamon 3.0 is that it has introduced the animation effect to drop down menu and windows. Let me show you here. You can see this is opening with some effect. Let me open some window here. As you can see here, the logout window has improved and it is also closing with some effect. So th this effect was one of the major improvement in Cinnamon 3.0. Next, mouse and touchpad. So uh, here in the mouse and touchpad option, you will see some new option here like immediate middle click by clicking both left and right buttons under touchpad also you will see new options so also this was introduced with cinnamon 3.0 next is the sound setting with cinnamon 3 they have also introduced some new feature with the sound settings like uh, they have added here extra slider fade subwoofer so next in cinnamon 3 the panel launch now includes the application actions you can see here this is the and i'm right clicking here and you will see uh, application actions like open new window open new private window more options like launch add edit also uh, the terminal right clicking here and you can see you just get get the options what to do with this application right from here so this is great a new project was started with Linux Mint Mint 18 called as X apps the idea behind X apps is to replace those applications which do not suit all environment with similar application which works best in any type of desktop in desktop environments like uh, cinnamon and mate for example uh, they have replaced the totem with with x player now so let's check out here totem and you can see nothing showing here now they have replaced totem with uh, x player as you can see so this uh, X player is very similar to totem uh, users who has been using totem player will not find much difference in using X player uh, according to the X apps plan the X player will suit in in both environment like cinnamon and mate so i think this is going to have good impact also they have um, replaced g thumb viewer with pix as you can see g thumb not showing here they have replaced it it with pix which is also very similar to g thumb viewer and you can see it looks exactly the same so for those who have used before gthumb uh, you won't find much difference here with pix so the entire idea is to not reinvent the wheel but to give better experience so i think this is one of the good move with linux mint 18 also they have replaced g edit editor which was one of my favorite application in linux mint but they have replaced g edit editor with z you can see here g edit not showing and they have replaced it with z editor let's launch it here and you can see it looks very similar to to uh, G edit editor I think I can call it as clone so this is also the part of X apps project so the users won't find much difference in these applications because they are very much similar the reason behind replacing those was to provide good experience in every environment 
Next, we will check the update manager. So the update manager has got the new look and also uh, some new functionalities here. You can see here these three options, don't break my computer, optimize stability and security, always update everything. So these three update options are available. You can select this one, uh, this don't break my computer. This is recommended for novice users, for those who want to only update the safe packages. So I think also this is one of the the good feature uh, introduced with Linux Mint 18. Next, we will check themes. So uh, Mint Y, the new themes are introduced with Linux Mint 18. And you can see uh, the icons here. All icons looks different. The flat design icons was introduced with uh, mint y theme you can see so far i didn't face any problem the final release is expected to come out by end of this month for those who are still using old version of mint i would recommend you to switch to mint 18 as soon as it releases that's all for now friends Subscribe to my channel for more such videos and don't forget to share this video. Thanks for watching.